Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, this is a weird one. I am on the Pacific Coast Highway, Highway 1, just north of Santa Monica, California. I'm in a boondock right there, along with these miles and miles of other RVs here. Guys, Pacific Ocean. Oh, it's dark. You can't see it. Yeah, you know what? Let me just uh, sleep it off, and I'll show you the spot in the morning, okay? All right, we'll be back to you in the morning. Good morning, this is better. <laughs> Kinda. That's what I wanted to show you. It's been a while since I've even seen the Pacific Ocean, let alone camped along the Pacific Ocean on the Pacific Coast Highway. But this is just the start of it, all right? Let's go down here to Santa Monica and have a little chat, guys. Yeah. There it is, everybody. The official start, or I guess end, of Route 66 here at Santa Monica. It's time. But before you judge or think you know what is to come, Believe me, this is going to be all new Route 66 stuff that I, that I didn't get to a few years ago on my Route 66 and 66 Days Tour. I don't want to call this necessarily a Route 66 trip because it's not based on that. However, from here to Illinois, it's pretty much all Route 66 with a few detours, so might as well make the most of it. I am excited to uh, share and find all of the other alignments and other stuff that I missed on Route 66 on this trip. And to get it started, we had to come out to the official start slash end here at the Santa Monica Pier in California. And what better morning start than Pier Burger, the last burger on land, Route 66. There we go. Hopefully one of many good Route 66 burgers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actually, instead of calling it the Route 66 Tour, we're going to call it Burger Tour 2019. <laughs> burger all on Route 66. Well, we finish this and then uh, we'll hit the road east, finally, finally going east. So rest assured, I'm telling you now, not everything on this trip east is gonna necessarily be Route 66 related as we travel along Route 66. <laughs> now right across the street from the Los Angeles Fox affiliate here is a very famous baseball field here. How famous? Well, you gotta go back to 1976. And one of my dad's favorite movies of all time, The Bad News Bears, 1976. Old Buttermaker, the drunk, and the misfit baseball player kids. There's chocolate all over this ball. Look, Mr. Buttermaker, quit bugging me about my food. Don't blame me, I didn't even know it was your car. I told you not to swing, you idiot! You're out there like a bunch of dead fish, not listening. Bonehead plays, mistakes. Honey, don't you want to beat those bastards? This is the uh, field of the Bad News Bears. It's pretty cool, right? Hey there, dudeson. You're in the captain's chair. Oh, you're the captain? You're right, I'm so sorry. What was I thinking? Here, I'll just let you drive. Go ahead. See, I, I get us places faster. It's just, yeah. Back on Route 66, we go. You know, it is gonna feel really nice to get out of the big city and off of these really congested areas and back onto the, the good old mother road, two lane. I mean, um, I just, I stress out a little bit. Just uh, the city driving a big rig, you know? So, uh, we're going east. In fact, you probably can't see it, but straight ahead is the Hollywood sign off in the haze up on that mountain. I can barely make out the white, but this wide angle camera is not gonna pick it up. But yeah, that's Hollywood up there. And Los Angeles is back off to our right here also. So we're close. Let me just get through this. I'll stop at anything if I see anything interesting. 
Here is something in Los Angeles worth a definite second look. Anybody recognize this house on the other side of my RV? Do I have any American Horror Story fans? The uh, show on FX? That is the murder house from the show here. Yes. It is even said to and confirmed to have paranormal activity. Ghost hunters have gone into the house and confirmed that there is activity inside this house. There's even a, a current legal battle going on where the owners who recently purchased this house are suing the people who sold it to them because they did not disclose the confirmation of it being haunted and having spirits inside it. And for that reason, the current owners of this murder house cannot even stay in the house physically. They are scared to death to even reside in it. So what you've got is just a fenced off area here. I am a little creeped out just being here. And uh, private property signs, all the gates are locked up. That would be one heck of a place for a haunted house there at the murder house. Man, I'd love to go in there and check it out, but I'm kind of a scaredy cat, to be honest. I probably wouldn't survive, but there you go, the murder house. Okay, I am legitimately creeped out like you would not believe. Let's get out of here. Goodbye, murder house. Oh my God, what a horrible name. And I am feeling like getting the heck out of Los Angeles, guys. So let me put a little bit of miles between me and the big city, and I will get back to you when we are on official, more Route 66 looking roads. Sound good? Okay, see you in a little bit here. All right, no, it doesn't look like much but we are finally on historic Route 66. There's a little bit of signage right there. But for the first time, we are on historic, oldest version of Route 66, the Mother Road here in San Bernardino County, and actually now entering the city of San Bernardino. Uh, very wide, so you can see three lanes on both sides with a turn lane, so <laughs> it's been changed, but this is still the same route, you know what I mean? Okay, and off to our left, you can, see, you can see the teepees here. It is the famous Wigwam Motel. I'm gonna pull over here. Couldn't get in there last time. I'm gonna see if we can peek in there and take a quicker look at these, because they're pretty historic. They've been around for a while. So this is not the first Wigwam Motel on Route 66. It is actually the last built Wigwam Motel, number seven on Route 66, and possibly the most, well, modernized. Uh, refurbished to, to fit the needs of, of travelers today. Uh, there's air conditioning inside of these. They are 32 foot high by about 22 feet wide. And I'll flash some pictures up on your screen to show you what the inside looks like. Honestly, I'm not really that impressed by the inside. I think it looks like anything. It's not specific looking like a teepee at, at all. So I don't know if it's really worth the money to, to spend to, to actually stay here unless you really, really like the outside of it. Uh, I did go into the office, still very, very, very unfriendly. I mean, super unfriendly to any kind of pictures, camera work, or anything. So we are staying on the outside of the perimeter looking in, but then again, they are pretty cool looking. I love the TP design. Nothing says Route 66 more than the Wigwam Motel, and it was inspired with the orange cones of the Cars Disney Pixar movie as well. So there you go, the Wigwam Motel. That's uh, I-15 up on the hill to our right. I have uh, come off once again. We're back on historic Route 66 and looking for some boondock. In fact, look at the ground up here. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. There it is, Route 66. Pretty cool. A little different than the highways. My thermometer still says that it's 102 degrees outside here in the high desert though so Miranda you're doing good girl <laughs> keep up um, this road next to us looks more like historic route 66 on the right right there in fact it is I'm sorry this was repaved right here but that right there right there that is the original route 66 Pretty cool history. And look, we're just gonna follow it right on down this canyon. And in one of these canyons, I'm gonna find some boondocking. Mm -hmm. 
fact, what do we have? No, I can't make it up that hill. Can't make it up that hill right there. It's peaceful. It's quiet. That's what it's all about, man. They do actually have the road blocked off, so you'll see here's an entrance, but they've got the white barriers on both sides, so they left it there so you can walk to it if you park somewhere else. But you can't actually drive the old route. Oh well. We got the old Union Pacific train up there. Pretty cool. I think we're gonna go under the train, I believe, eventually up here. Yeah. I'm gonna turn in here because look at all these cars just dispersed throughout the trees. Doesn't that look like they're gonna camp here? I think that's what they're gonna do. I'm gonna try it too. I don't know where I'm gonna go exactly, but yeah. Yeah, people are gonna camp in here. That's what I love about Route 66. It's just you can, you can make home anywhere. Just gonna back up into my little cubby spot here, and we'll see if this works. This is what I think about when you think of like just roadside boondocking off Route 66, wherever. Uh, we got the, the train going by right now. Kind of loud. Uh, doesn't bother me. Uh, I'm, I'm very used to the train. I'll even uh, wear earplugs if I have to. It's hot, man. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time outside. Uh, we got a, a NASCAR race coming up. So I've um, got, the, got the dish circling around trying to find our location right now. Yeah, the train has passed. This is the, the back side of the spot. There's a, there's a little creek down there, a little, little bit of water running down there. And uh, a little bit of breeze up here in the high desert as well. So it doesn't feel that bad, actually. I like this area. A little plaque over here we can read. Okay, it's a monument to uh, the uh, natural ranges here in the area. It does have the Route 66 logo there. A bunch of graffiti, which is disgusting, but Whatever, but yeah, no, this is a uh, this is nice that they have this. It doesn't say no overnight parking anywhere here, and as you can see, I'm not the only person. So what I'm gonna do is uh, preheat the oven here, get the race started, and hang out with Jax the cat. We'll make sure Skeletor is okay here. You good, buddy? All right, if you get too hot, just let me know. Okay. What do you think, man? We got that AC going. Yeah. Okay, man. Can I have some belly then? Well, I know, but I need, I need some. We all need the belly. We do, man. Got the pizza going in the oven already. Got the fan on so we can try to keep all that hot air outside. And yeah, what you're going to see brand new, it's been a while, GPS coordinates in the video description below for every place I stopped at. For the rest of this Route 66 trip east, you're going to find the GPS coordinates. You can plug them into your navigation of choice, Waze, Google Maps, whatever. You can go visit these same spots that I'm sharing with you on your own Route 66 adventure. So go ahead and write them down in the video description, jot them down, save them in your maps, whatever you like, providing those for you and any of the approved campgrounds. This one not included, it's not approved. You know what I mean? They can't, can't vouch for it or anything. It could change tomorrow, who knows? I don't expect any problems here. I think it's gonna be okay, but we'll see later. Got the NASCAR race on there, awesome. And now about an hour until the sun sets and it's uh, quieted down. A lot of people have left. Let's look over this edge again. Ooh, look at that water. Wow, that is gorgeous. Well, a little too far down for me to go down there and enjoy the water. So tonight we can expect train noise, no problem, and highway noise. Might be an earplugs kind of night, but you know what? I'm gonna wake up refreshed and uh, gonna enjoy that, that cooling morning coffee. Okay, so uh, Jackson, I'll see you back on Route 66, venturing on east through California in our next video. You guys take care and thanks for following me. Bye bye.